Welcome back to Mac Music Review. My name is Mac. Before I hop into the review, just want to say there's going to be some stuff down in the description. If you're interested in how the channel works, if you want to request an album for me to review, if you want to see what I'm reviewing next, all that good stuff is going to be down in the description. Today, the camera might be a little crooked. And we're going to be reviewing the album Boom. That's the title. It's in cursive, so you might not be able to read it. Random Access Memories by Daft Punk. As is normally the case for Daft Punk, this is a long album. It only has 13 songs on it, no interludes, no intros, no super short songs. And the total runtime for this album is an hour and 14 minutes, because this album has some really, really long songs on it. Most of the songs are long, or, or longer than most, you know, pop songs. But then you also have songs like Giorgio by Mortar, which is like nine minutes long. You have songs like uh, Touch, which is like 10 minutes long. You have Contact, which is like seven minutes long. You have songs like Beyond, which is like seven minutes long. You, most of these songs are pretty long. Anyway, you may be wondering, what does Random Access Memories or RAM sound like? What is the music? What is the tone? What is the vibe of this album? I'm going to try to break that down. This album, this album is crazy. It is a huge mix of live instrumentation, jazz, tons of real instruments. They have, they did an orchestra for a lot of these songs. There were orchestral arrangements. Touch even has like a choir, children's choir. I mean, they, they literally just went all out. All the music you can imagine, jazz, orchestral music, every instrument under the sun that you would see in an orchestra, and then, um, and then electronic music with, you know, robotic vocals. Some of the vocals are very jazzy, like on uh, Touch or Get Lucky or Doing It Right, not Doing It Right, or Fragments of Time. They sound like classic, like uh, classy jazz singers, but some of these songs are sung through extremely auto-tuned robotic voices like Give Life Back to Music, The Game of Love, uh, Instant Crush, and and um, Doing It Right by Panda Bear, you know, featuring Panda Bear. These are all songs that have tons of electronic music and, the, and that, that goes beyond just the music but that actually leads into the vocals and electronic like robotic singing on these songs. Songs that sound like it's done by robots which fits in perfectly with the theme of Daft Punk, is that they are two robots, they are two cyborgs, so that makes sense. Lyrically, this album, there's actually something to talk about, because they actually do some lyrics on this album, and part of the reason why is they actually have guest artists on this album. This is the first Daft Punk album for them to do some collaborative work on, and they do on songs like uh, Giorgio by Morador, uh, Instant Crush, Lose Yourself to Music, and Get Lucky, Lose Yourself to Music, and Get Lucky, both have Pharrell Williams. Doing It Right features Panda Bear. Uh, Game of Love and Give Life Back to Music is actually sung by Daft Punk. They are the ones that provide the lyrics also on Within, and other songs on this album. Daft Punk actually lends their robotic voices to. And, and it's all pretty, it's pretty neat. This album, it's pretty good. Random Access Memories is one of the most well-produced, intricate, ambitious, multi-layered electronic albums that I've ever heard in my entire life. The music on this thing, like I said, is very lush, very over-the-top, very ambitious. They do everything. They use they blend jazz and electronic music in a fusion that I've never heard before. That's that's really, I don't think it's ever been done before. And they do it incredibly well. Just the, their mix of live instrumentation and electronic music is effortless. And it works perfectly on nearly every single song on this album. 
The first song, Give Life Back to Music, is a more straightforward Daft Punk song. It really sounds like a Daft Punk song. It feels like a Daft Punk song with robotic vocals and the music, the electronic music, and it just sounds great. It's just a cool song. It's a fun, cool song. It just works really well. Game of Love is a much slower song that still works but is not as fun. The same can be said of, uh, I think Within is the other one that's kind of slow and, and not the most fun. And those are where the album really dips. Well, with uh, also the song Fragments of Time, which is one I normally skip. The lyrics just aren't fantastic. And the vocals are good, but meh. It kind of... It's it's just... It's it's still a good song. It's just not something that I listen to very often. Um, Doing It Right is another one that I don't often listen to a ton. Because of, once again, the lyrics. And it, the song just really doesn't say much. And the, the music is good, but it's not like... Not like amazing... These would be the exceptions to the amazing high quality of this album. And even so, these songs are not terrible. But besides that, this album is really, really, really impressive. There's so much great stuff on this album. Give Life Back to Music, like I said, is great. Giorgio by Morador tells a fantastic story. It's Before the music kicks in on this song, this, this like, uh, I think he's German. This German guy... This old German man with, a, with like an accent ta in English talks about his story of sleeping in cars and performing at the discotheque and having this idea on how to make, how to hook up a synthesizer to something else and, and make electronic music. Like he's like a pioneer for electronic music. He had an idea and a vision and he tells this story and then the music kicks in. And it sounds like music from the Tron soundtrack, which Daft Punk created. We're going to talk more about that later in a, diff in a separate video. But it kind of sounds like music from the Tron soundtrack. And it's literally just insanely awesome. This is, once more, one of the more straightforward tracks in the album in terms of music. Because it's mostly just, you know, electronic music. And it just sounds amazing. This song is so clean. So, so cool. So awesome. This song is just incredible. It's like nine minutes of blissful, fantastic electronic music. And then later in the song, he comes back and says some more words, and it's just, oh, it's so cool. He tells the story for like two, two, and th two minutes and 30 seconds, and it's like worth hearing every single time, because the way he tells the story, the emotion behind the story, just, it's a very interesting story. It's, you're invested literally almost like every time you hear this, this old German man telling a story. And it's so cool. Instant Crush is an earworm is an earworm of a song. It just sounds awesome. It's one that you're gonna put on and on repeat over and over and over again because it just sounds so good. The guy who sings on this, Julian Casablancas, another guest artist. I don't know if that's how you say his name. Another guest artist on this album does a fantastic job. His voice sounds great, works the lyrics work well with the music, and just actually the lyrics aren't great. But the music works very well with the vocals. It is a cool music video. You should check it out. Lose Yourself to Music is one of the two Pharrell Williams songs on this album. Some of the most memorable songs on this album. And I would say it's a lot better than Get Lucky. I'm really not a big fan of Get Lucky. Musically, it's alright, but I don't think it's it's great. And lyrically, it's very shallow, and I really, really don't care for it. Even though Pharrell Williams himself is a good singer, I think he does a great job on Lose Yourself to Dance. A really, really fun, enjoyable song that is really cool. The music changes throughout the song as is common for Daft Punk. Although it's a little bit subtle, it still sounds really cool and the song is a lot of fun. Touch is perhaps the most impressive song on this album. It is very long. It changes a lot as the song goes. It starts off with these really scary... It kind of has like Dark Crystal vibes. The movie The Dark Crystal, super creepy kids movie, super creepy movie. And it kind of gives that impression with the the creepy edited vocals and the I need touch blah blah and it sounds really creepy and then this guy's voice comes in it's like a shock it's like this really cool like jazz vocals his jazz singers what he sounds like his vocals are crystal clear he's like an old guy and he's singing the song and the lyrics sort of tell a story if you if you're paying attention and the story has this really good conclusion in the lyrics, but more than that, the music is fantastic. It gets from slow to more excited and energetic, 
and then it's really fun like it almost has like a Star Wars vibe like with the you know these guys doing that thing and there's a part of the song that sounds like that and it sounds so good and then you have the children's choir at the end and it just gets really huge and climactic and it is an truly epic song truly epic it's a very long song and it's totally worth listening to all the way through every single time because it is a really really cool song the last song contact features these like samples of like these guys trying to land on the moon or trying to go to a planet or guys who are in space sound like astronauts and the music is like this really cool fast upbeat electronic music and it shifts and eventually it gets kind of scary and and like like something bad's about to happen it creates this feeling and this atmosphere and everything starts crashing later in the song and oh it's just crazy it's crazy the song like tells a story mostly in music and very little in words and it's so so cool when all is said and done, Random Access Memories is is something that I want to say is an amazing album. It's something that I want to give a really high score, something that really blows me away. This album really does blow me away. But I, I hate to say it, but a few of these songs are skippable. A few of these songs, while they are good, are songs that I don't often listen to and I will skip in the playthrough. That, And those songs are, A Game of Love is just a little bit too slow, I think. And the lyric co lyrical content really isn't there. Within is a better song, but it's still kind of slow and it's not the best. I'm not a big fan of Get Lucky. That is, I would say, the worst song on this album, despite its huge popularity and, and commercial success. I'm not a huge fan of this song. It even won a Grammy. I still don't love this song. The lyrical content is really shallow and artificial, and the music is just not the coolest thing in the world to me. And then Fragments of Time, it sounds good, but I skip it. Something about it just doesn't work 100%. And then Doing It Right is, it sounds good, it just doesn't sound great. But besides that, this album has some truly amazing highlights, some truly amazing songs, some real, just overall, the quality of this record is very, very high, minus these uh, aforementioned songs. I'm going to have to give this album a 4.25 out of 5. What is the best Daft Punk album? That is a very, very difficult question to ask. I gave this album the same score as Discovery, and it's so hard. It's so hard. I, I, need to, I should do a video ranking the Daft Punk albums, because, yeah, I should do that. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be a little bit of a tricky video to make. I'll probably do that at, when I'm done. When I'm done with my Tron my Tron soundtrack review, but th that is a tricky question. What is the best Daft Punk album? I want you to tell me down in the comments. Thank you.